Welcome back. A former Navy SEAL taking aim at Hillary Clinton creating a controversial t-shirt reading, Hillary Clinton killed my friends. And it's getting a lot of attention. So joining us now is former Navy SEAL Tage Gill, who called Ty Woods his mentor and was roommates with Glenn Doherty in Afghanistan. His organization, Project Warpath, created the shirts. Good morning, Tage. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm okay, thanks. So very controversial. You've got bumper stickers and t-shirts that you say are very popular in the SEAL community that say, Hillary Clinton killed my friends. What do you mean by that? That's right. Um, a friend of mine created the bumper stickers, and the bumper stickers have gone viral. We've had nothing but positive feedback inside and outside of the SEAL community. So I started making these t-shirts. The, uh, the back of the t-shirts say, Hillary Clinton killed my friend. It's the bumper sticker on the back. Uh, everywhere we go, everywhere, everyone that wears them, we get nothing but positive feedback, thumbs up, great t-shirt, you know, did you serve, where can I get one? People love them. So tell us why it is that you blame Hillary Clinton and not the terrorists in Benghazi for killing your two friends. Uh, the reason I blame Hillary Clinton and not the terrorists, I, I blame the terrorists also, but the reason I blame Hillary Clinton is because she was the in charge of the State Department, you know, she's the Secretary of State. The consulate ultimately was her responsibility. The security at the consulate was poor at best. The, uh, the terrorists literally pushed the gate in, opened and walked in. The uh, security that was there was local security. They weren't trained, they weren't vetted. They didn't have American supervisors. They, they just threw down, down their guns and walked away when the attack start, uh, started. So my friends down the street at the <clears throat> CIA annex, they, you know, they had to rescue the State Department folks, and they lost their lives that night when they were in the fight of their life. Okay, so last question. Are the SEALs that you're still in contact with comfortable serving under a potential commander-in-chief, Clinton? Well, I don't think they have a choice if, that, if she gets elected, but uh, they don't want to do it. But, you know, they will. That's their job. It's their All right. Duty. Tage Gill, thank you very much for coming in this morning. Thank you very much for having me on. I appreciate it. For sure. All right.